hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well hope you guys had an amazing week a productive week and hope you're having an amazing weekend today i'm taking you downtown no not downtown georgetown it's downtown seattle and we are in washington state and i'm going to take you down by the farmer's market we're going all the way to the public market at pike place and uh it's a tourist destination actually and um if you guys know about the guys the farmers the fishermen that actually throw the fish to and fro um this is the place so i can't wait to take you there so let's get into the video So here we are on the highway heading to downtown Seattle and we are coming from Olympia, Washington and that's about an hour and five minutes away about that and we are actually going to where there are so many attractions and that is downtown Seattle. There is the Space Needle, there is the Seattle Aquarium, the Great Wheel, um, there is the Museum of Pop Culture. There is a beach as well, Lake Union, Museum of Flight. There's so many things going on downtown Seattle. It's, it's a lovely city. So like I said, we're headed to Pike Place Market and uh, we diverted to the Space Needle. That's Seattle Center actually. Mm -hmm. And we took the monorail to get to downtown Seattle. You can actually drive all the way to the Pike Place Market. But because we made a stop at one of the attractions, we took the monorail to get over and then you'll you'll get to see that but uh just to give you a little rundown on olympia washington where we stayed there is more like the outskirts of seattle and it's the capital of the u.s state of washington so seattle is the northernmost major city on the mainland of the united states and the largest city of washington state and seattle is the fourth largest port in north america <laughs> on the way to pike place market we made a stop at microsoft campus and this is the cooperate headquarters of microsoft and it's located in redmond washington united states and it's a part of the seattle metropolitan area and they've been here since 1986. So here we are crossing over Lake Washington and this is the largest freshwater lake adjacent to the city of Seattle and it's the largest lake in King County and the second largest natural lake in the state of Washington after Lake Chillen. The lake also borders the cities of Seattle on the west, Bellevue and Kirkland on the east, Renton on the south and Kenmore on the north and encloses Mercer Island. If you're familiar with the series Grey's Anatomy, some of the scenes from the series were actually filmed right here in Seattle, and that's at the Seattle Grace uh, Hospital, which is known right now as Grace Sloan Memorial Hospital. So here we are in Green Lake, and it's a neighborhood in north central Seattle, Washington. Its centerpiece is the lake and the park after which it's named. So there's a recreational park that I want to show you guys. So we're going to turn into there and you'll get to see the lake and you'll get to see some of the ducks. They actually have a lot of, uh, not just a duck, there are lots of ducks there mallards uh, i believe they are and um you're gonna see people uh, actually kayaking uh, and um there are lots of people jogging and riding and doing all sorts of different stuff you can actually go take a dip into the lake as well Yeah. 
doing? It does. It's so nice here, huh? No, it would, yeah, it would get deeper as you go out. He's trying to. He does not like the kayak here. Yeah. Oh, look, look. Huh? Yeah. What a nice tool. And look how it's shallow here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's there. Look the foot. Look, look, he's moving his foot. Look. Yeah. You see? <laughs> look, this one going in now. Look, look, look. He's going to go. He's going to go. Yeah, you go in, you go in, you go. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Uh, you like it, uh, <laughs> you get it? Yes. <laughs> Some Mario things you got. I need to jump up. Oh, yeah. Guys. Oh, my God. You don't have a little jacket? She left it in the car. That's <laughs> That's good. Lovely. It's lovely. I don't want to hear. Yeah. So enough duck watching for one day. We left there and then we were back on the road again to get to Pike Place Market. So the tall object in the video there, which looks like a, a UFO on a stick, that is actually the space needle. I did go on the Space Needle, but I'm going to show you that in another video. Uh, that's like a, a whole video by itself. So um, we, we actually went there and then we took the monorail to get to Pike Place Market. So that's, I'm going to skip all the Space Needle area. So I'm going to show you that in another video. And then we went on to Pike Place Market. We're going to be going through a tunnel now and that is the SR99 tunnel and it runs between just west of Seattle sports stadiums and north of downtown near the Space Needle and that tunnel has no mid tunnel entrances or exits. So it was a pretty long tunnel and thank god we saw the light at the end of the tunnel. actually reach the Space Needle area, Space Center as they call it, and then we're going to park up 
and then we're gonna take the monorail to get down to Pike Place Market. Oh, okay.
So guys, we're already in downtown Seattle and we're going to walk to Pike Place Market, Farmer's Market. It's not far from Westlake Center. That's where we came out and that's where we have to come back to get to the Space Needle and uh, to take the monorail that is to get back to Space Needle. So we're going to take a walk from here and you're going to get to see a little around and how the buildings and the, the place looks. It's, it's really beautiful. What? 
So downtown Seattle is the central business district of Seattle, Washington, and it's fairly compact compared with other city centers in the U.S. West Coast, due to its geographical situation, being hemmed in on the north and east by hills and on the west by Elliott Bay and on the south by reclaimed land that was once tidal flats. It is bounded by the north by Denny Way, beyond which are Lower Queen Anne, sometimes known as Uptown, Seattle Center, and South Lake Union, and on the east by Interstate 5, beyond which is Capitol Hill, and to the northeast and Central District to the west, sorry, to the east. On the south by S. Dearden Street, beyond which is Sodo, and on the west by Elliott Bay, a part of the Puget Sound. finally at Pike Place Market, uh, the public market, farmer's market, it's all here. And let me give you a quick rundown before we get deeper into the market. So Pike Place Market has been a defining Seattle icon for more than a century, considered by many as the soul of Seattle. The market spans nine historic acres in the center of downtown, where every day locals and tourists alike shop, visit, eat, and discover. Founded in 1907, the market is one of the oldest and largest continuously operating public markets in the United States and is brought to life by the hundreds of farmers, crafters, small businesses, and residents that call it home. While the market is grounded by its incredible collection of diverse businesses, activities, and services, it's simply would not exist without the passion and support from the citizens of Seattle. From humble beginnings to nearly being destroyed, Seattle's citizens have brought their hearts to the soul of Seattle.
So that's the waterfront you're looking at. That's the waterfront there where the great wheel is, that big circle. That's the great wheel. We did go on it in our last visit. Um, not this time. We didn't have the time to do that. Yeah. I see Jack had by daddy, right? Then. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Oh, the cheese in there. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. So it's famous local cheese. They're called yeah. features. And then they're showing it when you get it. Yeah. You just do the curds in here. Yeah. That's the other one. Yeah, it's like when you're making parsad, more or less. Like, turn it on. Oh, okay. That's how we do it. Yeah. And if you like curds. Okay, all right. So let's go. Come on. Yeah. Play start because, yeah. That's it. So here we are heading back to Westlake Center to get the monorail to get back to the Space Needle, which is the Space Center. As it says monorail to Seattle Center, so we're going to board the monorail and then we're going to head back to Seattle Center and enjoy the ride.
off the monorail back at the space center uh this is the space needle center that is and right there is the space needle that big tall building there that's a space needle and in the future i'll be posting a video on the space needle so guys hope you're entertained by this video don't forget to subscribe like and share and of course comment below i hope you enjoyed the market area pike place market and the ride on the monorail and as we walk downtown seattle i hope you enjoyed every bit of it with that stay safe and i will see you in the next one Thank you.